Alright, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to boot into the BIOS. And uh, you want to set um, the hard drive, the SATA configuration, to be in IDE mode to clear any password hard drives or passwords that are on hard drives. So uh, in this, I'm running a Foxconn on this computer, and I believe that the. I gotta find it. It's in integrated peripherals, and then under IDE configuration, you need to set. Um, on chip SATA type or something that is similar to that to legacy IDE and then you want to make sure that you put SATA as primary because when you run the zoo executable on the bootable disk to clear a western digital password on a hard drive that was set through the BIOS which is uh, protected by a SATA password which is a specification in the SATA um, specifications to protect drives uh, so if you forgot your password you need to clear it you need to first set your BIOS to be in legacy IDE mode for the SATA um, connections and then you want to make sure you only have like a CD drive and w the hard drive you want to unlock plugged into the machine and so the SATA will be the primary and your uh, CD drive will be the secondary so you save that and then you put in the disk that you've burned and you're going to boot from it And you're just going to press enter to pick choice 2, and it's going to load a CD-ROM driver, and then it is going to create a RAM disk and copy MHDD, the latest version, and also the Zoo executable, which is uh, written by Mulkey, I think, or whatever his name is. Uh, it's a really good program, and it actually unlocked my 750 gig Western Digital hard drive that I didn't have the password to. Um, so, as you can see, it's been booted, so what you're going to run is you're going to run Zoo slash p and if the drive is plugged in which is not in this video because I've already unlocked it um, it will say unlocked once it detects it and it's pretty fast um, 